Hi kids, welcome to our Bible study video. And I am so excited this week as we are having our first church service in our new building. It's been so neat to watch the different people come and help out and clean and paint and do all the things that need to be done to get the church building ready. And that got me thinking about what my favorite part about church is. There are so many things that I like about church, but I think one of my favorite parts is to be able to sing praise and worship songs to God. I want you to think for a minute about what one of your favorite praise and worship songs is. I want us to start off today singing a song and I want us to sing Jesus Loves Me. It's a song that most of you know. You probably know some motions that go with it. But let's sing this song together and let's think about how great the love of Jesus is for each of us. today we're going to look at a time when God's people sang praise and worship songs to him and we're going to look in the book of Ezra so if you have your Bibles turn to the book of Ezra and if you're not sure where that is you can look in the table of contents the book of Ezra is all about the rebuilding of the temple and we're going to look at Ezra chapter 3 Just to give you guys a little bit of background before we start reading, um, God's people were in Jerusalem and the temple had been destroyed. And so they decided to work together to collect offerings and to gather together to get people that could help rebuild the temple. So day and night they gave their offerings, they came together, they did the work that needed to be done and they laid the foundation of the temple. And that was a very, very exciting moment for God's people. And that's where we're going to start reading today. That's Ezra chapter 3, starting in verse 10. When the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, the priests in their vestments and with trumpets and the Levites with cymbals took their places to praise the Lord as prescribed by David, king of Israel. When, with praise and thanksgiving, they sang to the Lord, He is good. His love to Israel endures forever. And all the people gave a great shout of praise to the Lord because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. But many of the older priests and Levites and family heads who had seen the former temple wept aloud when they saw the foundation of the temple being laid, while many others shouted for joy. No one could distinguish the sound of the shouts of joy from the sounds of weeping because the people made so much noise, and the sound was heard far away. The people were so excited about this foundation being laid and the start of the new temple that they sang songs of joy and they shouted, and the noise was so loud that the people even far away could hear them. Let's take a look at this video together. The people of Israel were held as prisoners in Babylon for many years. Finally, they were allowed to return home. When they arrived in Jerusalem, some of the family leaders gave offerings of gold coins, silver, and clothes for the priests so that God's house could be rebuilt. The people settled in their towns. After several months, they gathered in Jerusalem, and the work on the temple began. 
the first thing the workers built was an altar to offer sacrifices to God. Even though they were surrounded by enemies, the people made sacrifices every morning and every evening. Now that's dedication. They celebrated, worshipped, and sacrificed before the foundation was ready. They gave money to the stonecutters and artists so they could gather cedar wood. When the workers finally completed the temple's foundation, the priests put on robes and played trumpets. The Levites played cymbals. Together they sang with praise and thanksgiving to God. He is good. His faithful love to Israel endures forever. It was the best worship service ever. All the people gave great shouts of praise. Many of the older people remembered the first temple. They wept loudly when they saw the foundation of the new temple. Others shouted for joy. People could not tell the difference between the weeping and the shouts because everyone was so loud. The sound was heard far away. That is such an amazing story about how God's people came together, they worked together for a common purpose, and we as the church can do that today. I'm going to ask you guys some questions about the story today. And just answer it out loud if you know the answer. Why did the people give offerings? They gave their offerings to rebuild the new temple. Why was a new temple needed? They needed a new temple because the enemy had torn down the old one. Where was this new temple being built? The new temple was built in Jerusalem. What did the people do when the foundation base for the temple was in place? They praised God, they played their instruments, and they shouted with joy because of all that God had done. And what are some of the musical instruments that the people used to praise God? It said in the passage that they used trumpets and cymbals. And today, when we worship God, we can use all different kind of instruments. We can sing hymns. We can sing newer praise songs. The most important thing is that we sing to God and we focus our mind and our heart on Him. And we can praise Him for all that He's done. I want you to think for a moment about what are some things that you can praise God for. What are some things that you are thankful that God has done in your life? And I think the most important thing that all of us can thank God for is that he gave his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. And if we choose to accept his forgiveness, we can live with him forever in heaven and have abundant life here on earth. Let's take a look at this next video together. Help, I don't know what happened, but Lannis stopped talking to anyone. And then he locked himself in his cabin. Church camp is not supposed to be this stressful. Good morning, campers. Welcome to another beautiful day at Camp Chicken Lake. Also, and as a quick reminder, whoever drained the pool, please put the water back. We won't ask any questions. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. If it's the last thing, I it was me. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be mean or anything. Well, maybe a little. Last night, while I was trying to ignore all the God songs around the campfire, I noticed that Lannis' voice was especially, how do I say this? Um, the worst sound I've ever heard. Lannis doesn't have a great singing voice. Huh? Oh yeah, Para showed up. Fashionably late, of course. Just because Lannis sounds like a dying hyena when he sings, that's no reason for Stephanie to say what she said to him. I just reminded him that songs should make God happy, not angry. I tried one of my famous pep talks to cheer him up. I said, when you're on the 20, don't think of the 80 yards ahead, focus on the 10. He doesn't really respond to sports references. Lannis is my friend. I'm, I'm going to fix this if it's the last thing I- Hey everyone, I'm better. Wow. I'm good. It's true, Stephanie hurt my feelings, but I wasn't wallowing in self-pity. I was fixing the problem. Behold, the Autotuna 3000. It's a real-time auto-tune device that's shaped like a tuna. Allow me to demonstrate. Mmm, fishy. <laughs> I'm singing, and now I 
I have an amazing voice. Finally, God will be sad when I sing to him. And he'll finally listen to my tra la 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 Shooby dooby doo wah wah Wow! I can't believe it! That sounds so much worse! <laughs> Wait a minute! I have a serious problem with this! Is it the fish design? Tuna isn't for everyone. No, it's not the fish. Also, I'm still fuzzy on why you chose a fish. My problem is, is that you would believe that God would be mad about your singing voice. God made our voices when we sing to him. It isn't about having the best voice. We sing to praise him and to thank him for what he's done for us. So he listens no matter what we sound like? He hears our hearts. The song that is most beautiful is the song to him. From here. Thanks, Alex. It's much appreciated. Mm, still fishy. Wait, I get it. Tuna. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. And I have a challenge for you this week. I want you to make a list of all the things that you can praise and thank God for in your life. And I also want to encourage you that the next time we meet together at church to actually praise and participate in the worship songs. Think about what they mean and focus your mind and your heart on God. That's what worship is, focusing on Him. And so I just want to challenge you guys to truly praise and worship God for all that He's done. And when you pray to Him, you can also thank Him and praise Him for all that He's done in your life. He has been so good to us. Now let's close in prayer. Dear God, I just thank you for all that you've done for us. I praise you for who you are, that you're the creator of this earth, but you still care about what goes on in our lives. I thank you that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. And I thank you that you love us, even when we don't always do the right thing. I pray that you'll help us to focus on you and to praise you and to worship you. Thank you for all that you do for us. In Jesus' name, amen. See you guys next week.